Does homeowner's insurance cover plumbing? As a plumbing company owner, we get asked this question all the time. This is one you should think about before you ever call your insurance agent and talk about what problems you may have. Because insurance will cover some parts of it, there's some of it they won't cover. Now, one thing is, if you have a bad enough flood that you really think you're going to end up having to use your insurance, you wanna make sure that your plumber speaks insurance. They've got to be able to talk to the insurance company in terms that the insurance company understands. That you, um, you had, you, you, you can, you do. That way, you don't get hit and not covered for things that really you should be. So first of all, let's talk about that. What does most insurance cover? Well, most insurance will cover any damage caused by water, meaning if you have a washing machine hose break, an ice maker line break, something like that. It's an emergency flood that just happened and it's something where you can prove, look, there hadn't been a problem. It's, there's no maintenance issue here. This just occurred. And chances are at that point, it will pay for any damages to your floor, your baseboards, your sheetrock, paint, tape, bed, anything at all like that. But it's not gonna pay for the plumbing repair most times. So one thing that I always recommend to people when they call is to call your insurance agent. If you don't know your insurance, you need to know your insurance agent. The reason is most people don't know what they're covered for or not covered for. And when you call your insurance agent, you wanna to talk to him and say, look, I have a question. I'm not saying I have damage. I just have a question to find out if I'm covered for this. Why would you wanna do that? Well, if you call them and tell them you have water damage, there is already a strike against your house. I've made a huge mistake. Meaning they have noted in there that you have water damage and it's always gonna be part of your insurance package from now on. So what you wanna do is know your agent, call your agent and just ask them, hey, I have a question. If I were to have a leak under my house and it came up through the floor, am I covered? These are things that you also need to talk to your plumber about beforehand, because most plumbers can tell you, okay, think about this, think about this in advance. One thing that really helps my customers out a lot is I always ask them, okay, have you had this occur before and had damage that maybe you didn't even think about? And then they sit and think about it. It's like, wow, you know what? It did. This occurred last year about the same time. Well, it rained this year last time about the same time. So oversaturated ground makes water come up. If you've got a leak and it's causing problems, you wanna know what you're covered for. But one thing that you're not covered for is lack of maintenance. Say you've got hoses that are 20 years old. Say you've got a faucet that's been dripping and now all of a sudden it started dripping a different way or it started running back down the faucet and coming out under the cabinet. Now it's created a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. If it's lack of maintenance, you're not covered. Now, again though, talk to your agent because I have seen some instances where they were covered. If it is an emergency, something busted, something ruptured, and it caused a flood, chances are you may be covered for that. Now, not for the flood part, meaning most homeowner's insurance policies do not have flood because flood can be from rain, from oversaturated ground, from all kinds of different things. Flood insurance is one that just most homeowner policies do not include. Now, if your dishwasher, ice maker, some fixture like that automatically starts leaking, chances are your insurance company is gonna cover you for that damage. Now, they may not fix the appliance, they may not fix the leak, but at least they will fix any damage caused by that. Now, one thing to think about too, when you call your insurance agent, or if you have to call your insurance company, know your deductible. What is it possibly gonna cost you? If it's gonna be a push, you probably just wanna pay for it out of your pocket and never tell them about it. That way it doesn't show up on your insurance, on your history. Okay, so when it comes to what is causing the water damage, let's say you do have a leak under your house, and this is where most plumbers come in from slab leaks, leak detection, things like that. But say you've got a leak under your house. Here's what's gonna happen is if that leak starts coming up and causing problems, you wanna look at what damage has it caused? Has it damaged the floor? Has it damaged the baseboard, sheetrock, tape and bed, paint, anything at all? Most of the time when you call the insurance company, they're gonna tell you, you need to go ahead and get that leak stopped. 
So at that point, you wanna make sure that you call a reputable plumbing company that does leak detection. I'm Roger Wakefield, lead AP, the Because coming out and doing leak detection and slab leak repairs, that's a specialty that a lot of people don't do. I'm Roger Wakefield, lead AP, the expert plumber. And when it comes to your plumbing, you wanna make sure it gets done right. But the first thing is, the plumber should come out and do a water sewer test to make sure he knows what system is leaking. Let's say that it's water. We'll talk about sewer in another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to find a sewer leak. <laughs> but let's say it's water. Now what you wanna do is you need to isolate the yard from the house. You need to make sure you can find where the leak is. There's two different ways to isolate. You shut off a valve to isolate the yard from the house and you shut off the water heater to isolate the hot from the cold. So once you do that, now you come in and do leak detection or leak location to find out exactly where the leak is. Now, once you find the leak, we like to give three different options. Say it's a water leak. You can tunnel under the house to make the repair. You can make a hole in the floor to make a repair or possibly make holes in the wall and do a reroute overhead. Now, if you tunnel up under a house and make a repair, the insurance company, if you're covered, will normally pay to dig it, to, to locate it, they'll pay for the testing, they'll pay for everything but the repair itself. Now, luckily for you, that repair is normally the cheapest part. Digging to it, jackhammering the floor, getting down and tunneling over to it, doing things like that, that's normally the most expensive part. So luckily, if you have a good policy, you are covered for the things that are gonna be the most expensive. Not making the repair, you'll be responsible for that, but then they'll pay to put the dirt back, put the floor back, replace everything, mount any cabinets, fixtures, anything that had to be moved to get in there and make the repair. Now say that you have water back up from an outside drain or something. Normally, that won't be covered. Now, if there's a blockage under your house and you've got a break under there, when it backs up and, and raw sewage comes up into your house, I've seen this get repaired many, many times. Again, you can make a hole in the floor or tunnel under. Your sewer line you cannot reroute because it's gotta have fall all the way out. So if you're a homeowner and you've ever had water damage, leave me a comment down below and let me know, did your insurance cover it and why did they cover it? Was it your policy or was it because it was the type of leak that it was? If you're a plumber and you do slab leaks, leak detections, things like this, leave me a comment down below and let me know, how do you feel about dealing with the insurance company? Me as a residential service provider, I think it's great. I love taking care of my customers and to be able to talk to the insurance companies for them and explain what we found, how we found it, what our thoughts are based on it, it's more that I can do for my customers and I think that's such a big deal. Also, if you're a plumber or homeowner, did they tunnel under, did they make a hole in the floor, or did they reroute overhead if it was a water line. I'd be interested in what they did for you and what your thoughts are about it. Did you like the repair and are you happy with it? Is your insurance gonna cover any plumbing damages that you have or are you gonna be at the mercy of the insurance company? I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.